Hello everyone, today's pharma studio will be discussing poison group B and C. In accordance with the Poison Act 1952, pharmaceutical products can be classified into scheduled poison which is also known as controlled medicine, and non-scheduled poison, over-the-counter medicine. Over-the-counter medicine is also known as OTC or non-prescription medicine. All these terms refer to medicine that you can buy without a prescription. They are safe and effective when you follow the directions on the label, and as directed by your healthcare professional. The scheduled poison is then separated into four groups, which are Group A, B, C and Group D. The grouping of medicines is made based on the risks of the medicines to consumers. So, first of all, what is Group B poison? Group B poison is also known as prescription-only medicines, POM, or RX only. Hence, they require prescriptions by doctors, dentists or veterinarians. They are used in treatment where the doctor's diagnosis is needed to recognize the symptoms. In some situations, they can be dispensed only against the prescription of a registered medical practitioner, dentist, or veterinary surgeon as the case may be, and with the prescription in the correct form, as required by the law. Furthermore, there are various forms of prescription for Group B poison. Every prescription for any Group B poison prescribed by a registered medical practitioner, registered dentist, or registered veterinary officer, shall be in writing signed and dated by the prescriber thereof. State the address of the prescriber. State the name and address of the patient or, in the case of a prescription by a veterinary officer, the name and address of the person, to whom such medicine is to be delivered. It also should indicate the total amount of medicine to be supplied and the dose, and specify the number of times, not exceeding three, the medicine may be dispensed and, if dispensed more than once, at what intervals. Next, Group B poison shall not be sold or supplied by retail to any person, except where the sale or supply of such poison, if it had been the Group A poison, by a licensed wholesaler to a licensed pharmacist, or to another licensed wholesaler, otherwise, by a licensed wholesaler to be immediately exported to a purchaser outside Malaysia. The following exception is by a registered medical practitioner, registered dentist division 1 or veterinary officer selling, supplying or administering such poison to his patient or client, for the purposes of the medical, dental or animal treatment only. Moreover, the sale or supply of poison group B is approved by a licensed pharmacist, as a dispensed medicine on, and in accordance with a prescription prescribed by a registered medical practitioner, registered dentist or veterinary officer in the form required, and when supplied in accordance with this act and of any regulations made thereunder relating to such sale or supply on a prescription. Finally, the examples of Group B poison include allopurinol to treat gout, bumetanide, an antihypertensive drug, cabergoline, a dopaminergic medication, domperidone, an antiemetic agent, efavirins that used to treat and prevent HIV, AIDS and fampridine, a potassium channel blocker. Then, followed by glybenclamide, an anti-diabetic medication, halothane, a general anesthetic, ivermectin to treat parasite infestations, nifedipine that is used to manage angina and high blood pressure, olanzapine, an antipsychotic, and lastly ramipril, an ACE inhibitor. Now, let's have a look at Group C poison. Group C poisons can actually be supplied by a community pharmacist to patients without a prescription. Group C medication can be dispensed by pharmacists without any prescription after consultation with the patient, or by doctors themselves after examining the patient. The specific control involving Group C poison is that, they can be sold or supplied by retail to any person as a dispensed medicine by a licensed pharmacist, or by any person under the pharmacist's immediate supervision. All sales of Group C poisons have to be recorded in the prescription book. Moreover, the labeling has to follow the requirements set in Regulation 12 of the Poison Regulation 1952, regarding the labeling of dispense medicine. 
According to the laws of Malaysian Poison Act 1952 Regulation 24, which was established in 2006. Drugs require customers' personal information to be recorded in order to be dispensed. These include the name and address of the patient, as well as the name, dose, quantity and date the drug is purchased. Hereby shows some examples of Group C poison. These are some brands of Group C poison that can be found in pharmacy. Ibuprofen as a painkiller for a range of aches and pains, or treat inflammation. Paroxicam which is used to relieve pain, tenderness and swelling. Mephanamic acid to relieve mild to moderate pain, including menstrual pain. Antacid which is used to relieve heartburn, indigestion or an upset stomach. Trimetazidine, an anti-ischemic or anti-anginal metabolic agent and metformin which is a diabetic medication. Then, followed by decongestant, antihistamine to treat allergy, diclofenac, a medicine that reduces inflammation and pain, cimetidine which is used to treat ulcers or gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, loperamide, an anti-diarrheal agent and finally, griseofulvin. In conclusion, proper medication and patient safety remain our top priority in our mission to provide affordable and convenient health care. Therefore, as a responsible pharmacist, we must always follow the Poison Act 1952 which regulates the import, possession, manufacture, compounding, storage, transportation, sale and use of poisons. Thank you.